We are in the final phase of building something that has never built before. A bit frantic at the moment. There's a lot of things going on at once. But we have to move fast. Don't film this. We know that the basic concept can work, and now we have to test. This is the moment. Is it working, or did we completely fail? I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. No one has done anything like this, ever. OK, there he goes. It's so nice to be To get to this point, it took a lot of energy out of all the teams, including myself. There is a mix between anxiety and, of course, a lot of excitement. But, you know, it's still a, a long way somehow in this process and there are a lot of emotions going on. Okay. We'll do the other one just to make sure. The other, no, no, I'll just the other sensor, sorry. Everybody's trying to keep very cool, but we have to move fast. It's a bit frantic at the moment. There's a lot of things going on at once. We have software checks, electronics, wiring, and trying to coordinate what activity needs to be done when. For example, moving the foils. We can't do that with the battery in the boat, and then we've got to do all of the work with the battery in the boat afterwards. We are building uh, something that has never been built before. A race boat based on foil with this concept and with electric propulsion. So there is always the risk, but the team that we have put together is so strong and committed that I'm sure that even if we get some delay, we will try to race against time in order to be in the water as soon as possible, at least. This is very important for the dynamics of the boat, mainly for when we're benchmarking the performance, right? So I'm looking at sensors from the VCU, taking into account the voltage, and we're converting that to an angle. We're doing everything we can, we're pushing. I'm trying to show the camera what time we're leaving. Today is the last day of assembly and it's so many challenges on the logistics and shipment. We finally got the remaining parts that were missing and finally the propeller, which is not there now, but we have it. I don't know where, where it went. Guys, just so everyone is aligned, ideally, like 12.30, we should start thinking of putting the boat on the truck and go. It's tight, I know it's tight, but at least we have a plan. The race bird is by far the most advanced vehicle that we have ever been working on. You know, this kind of uh, foils which are basically cutting the water, I think is going to be the key of success of the entire project. We know that the basic concept can work, and now we have to test. Let's go to water. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> so it's 11 o'clock in the evening, but finally we have put everything together, and tomorrow we'll be at the San Azaro place to test the race birds for the first time and start our validation campaign. So very tiring, but in the meantime, very excited about it. And uh, we will see you tomorrow. So in this very moment, we are completing the final check and the final setup, and then we will start our testing procedure. But of course, there is an element of anxiety because it's a prototype. Nobody ever designed a race vessel based on this concept. And uh, actually, in real time, we can see that the second foil is uh, going on, which is uh, a great news for us because it means that we are closer and closer to our first test. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice Hi. To meet you, Sophie. Nice to meet you. Hi, Rich. Hey. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hey. Well done. Well, let's see now. It's hey. the We're water. running on adrenaline. <laughs> huh? We're running on adrenaline. Yes. <laughs> You've been working very hard. It's been a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And have a look around and re familiarize yourself. This is the moment. Is it working or did we completely fail? I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. This reminds me of the first time we put the Formula E 
do the shakedown. Looking great. I started with a full seabird idea several years ago, but I didn't find anyone who actually believed in not only the concept and the idea, but also me. But then, you know, you, you keep doing it or, and you keep trying and then finding people who actually believe in you and the concept. And for them also to, to show that much respect to me, they're up here and it's thanks to them. And they, they have been brave as well. So I thank them too, to believe in me and to, to back me fully from the start. Wow, a big day, huh? <laughs> No one has done anything like this, ever. Mamma mia, ragazzi. My is built. Mamma mia, ragazzi. So far, so good. Floats. It's a dream. Ten years ago, I was doing the same with a race car. It was a lot easier than this. Here, we have more technology, but still, we're in the water. Our first shakedown out of 20 cars that we tried, 19 stopped. I feel it in my stomach. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm nervous. Imagine the pilot. Oh. Pilot is cool. He's super excited. He's a prototype tester as well. Okay. Okay, there he goes. Let's go. Guys, it's moving. It's moving. It is moving. Yeah. It's not immediately going up. No, Look, it, it, it's, go, up. Go, go, it's up. Go, go, it's up. Go, go, go. Guys, it's up. <laughs> it's up. Wow, wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at this. How silent, Aye, how silent, man. just the water. Oh, mama. <laughs> it's actually flying. <laughs> nice. Or well done, well done. It's been uh, three years in the development from the first idea and then finally to see it here. Amazing. I think that went better than planned. Uh, I've done many of these shakedowns and the first time nothing works. This time everything worked amazingly well. We were working so hard to get to this point that we are very, very happy and incredibly pleased. What I've seen is very positive. The boat is basically capable of flying. It's like a Formula One car. It's good because we must use the, the head. <laughs> it's one of your designs and being built and to have E1 and the people on board and the team and Victory Marine and seeing also that people are so engaged in the project. That's very special. Looks amazing and especially I was looking forward to hear the sound and of course I didn't hear anything which is nice. You hear the water, the sound of the water, it will be a completely new experience to watch these race boats. Every little thing which doesn't work, we have a minor crack in a foil, that's very good. It means that we are starting to push to the limits. This is the first prototype only, there will be other prototypes before the uh, final uh, race boats, but it's a great beginning. In the meantime, we keep building uh, our championship. We are focusing on defining more and more the format and the media product in terms of teams that are coming, in terms of cities that are going to be part of our championship. So exciting time, very exciting time. And the good news that we have for the world is that she flies. And uh, this is our starting point for an incredible future of the championship.